Janet Jackson Lifestyle and Net Worth 2024. In this eye-opening video, we dig deep into the untold truths of the legend Janet Jackson, uncovering scandals, controversies, and success stories that have shaped the renowned legend. From shocking revelations to inspiring accounts of triumph, this behind-the-scenes look will leave you speechless. Join us as we peel back the curtain on the secrets that have made a talk of the town. Don't miss out on this exclusive journey into the world of legends. Janet Demita Jackson, born May 16, 1966, is an American singer, songwriter, actress, and dancer. She is noted for her innovative, socially conscious, and sexually provocative records, as well as elaborate stage shows. Her sound and choreography became a catalyst in the growth of MTV enabling her to rise to prominence while breaking gender and racial barriers in the process. Lyrical content which focused on social issues and lived experiences set her reputation as a role model for youth. The tenth and youngest child of the Jackson family, she made her debut at the MGM Grand. She starred in the variety television series The Jacksons in 1976 and went on to appear in other television shows throughout the 1970s and early 1980s, including Good Times, Different Strokes, and Fame. After signing a recording contract with a and Records in 1982, she became a pop icon following the release of her third and fourth studio albums Control, 1986, and Rhythm Nation, 1814, 1989. Her collaborations with record producers Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis incorporated elements of rhythm and blues, funk, disco, rap, and industrial beats, which led to crossover success in popular music. She has a net worth of approximately $360 million. The youngest child of the renowned Jackson family, Janet Jackson, grew up in a musical environment that paved the way for her success. Having said that, let's roll. Janet Jackson Personal Life and Real Estate At age 18, Jackson eloped with singer James DeBarge in 1984. The marriage was annulled in November 1985. In 1991, Jackson married dancer-slash-director Renee Elizondo Jr., they actually kept the marriage secret for many years. Their divorce was finalized in 2003. From 2002 to 2009, Jackson dated music producer-slash-rapper-slash-songwriter Jermaine Dupri. In 2012, Jackson married Qatari businessman Wiesam Almana, whom she met in 2010. She gave birth to the couple's son in January 2017, and they announced in April of that same year that they had separated and were pursuing a divorce. Upon divorcing, Renee Elizondo filed a lawsuit against Janet seeking a $25 million settlement. Considering the fact that they were married during Janet's most productive and successful years, he could have been entitled to that full amount or more. In legal filings, Renee claimed that during their marriage, they shared income and bank accounts, and at that point he did not have any savings. He admitted they had a prenuptial agreement but claimed he signed it under duress. After three years of legal battling, they reached a settlement that reportedly called for Janet to pay Renee $10 million plus legal fees. Contrary to widely spread internet rumors, Janet Jackson is not a billionaire. Although she married Wiesam Almana, who is a billionaire Qatari retail tycoon, the idea that Janet was a billionaire stems from a misinterpretation of a May 2013 interview with Variety magazine. In the article, the author totaled up all the gross revenue that has been generated by Janet's endeavors over the last 20 years. That included movie ticket sales, album sales, merchandise, and more. The final number came to $1.2 billion. The $1.2 billion number is gross revenue and has very little relation to Janet's personal bank account. In 1998, Janet Jackson paid $2.8 million for a three-bedroom, 2,100-square-foot apartment in New York City's One Central Park West Building. In April 2022, Janet listed this unit for sale for a little under $9 million. She accepted $8.8 .8 million in August of 2022. Here's a video tour of the property from the time it was listed. Janet Jackson Career Awards and Nominations after the Jackson Five signed a record deal with Motown in March 1969, the Jackson family moved to the Encino neighborhood of Los Angeles. She began performing on the variety show The Jacksons in 1976 along with her siblings, jumpstarting her career in entertainment. After acting in several projects, 
including starring roles in the sitcoms Good Times, 1977, and A New Kind of Family, 1979 to 1980. Her father and manager Joseph Jackson arranged a recording contract for her with AM Records. Under AM Records and the management of her father, Jackson released two albums, Janet Jackson, 1982, and Dream Street, 1984. After her second album, she terminated business affairs with her family and released her third album, Control, 1986, which featured a more urban and mature sound than her previous releases. Control was an immense success, receiving six Billboard Awards, three Grammy nominations, and winning four American Music Awards from 12 nominations. After fulfilling her A&M contract, Jackson signed a multi-million dollar deal with Virgin Records. Valued at between $32 million to $50 million, it was the largest female music recording contract of all time up to that point. Her first album with Virgin, Janet, 1993, debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart and included five number one singles, including the Grammy-winning single, That's the Way Love Goes. Decades into her career, Jackson remains an important pop artist with an impressive legacy. In 2004, Jackson became the most searched news story in internet history, as reported by the 2007 Guinness Book of World Records. When, during the Super Bowl halftime show, Justin Timberlake tore her shirt open, exposing one bare breast. Jackson called the moment an accident and refused to apologize to CBS. Outside of music, Jackson has also appeared in several films. She got her start in 1993's Poetic Justice and returned to the big screen many times since, including in movies like Nutty Professor 2, The Clumps, 2000, Why Did I Get Married, 2007, and Four Colored Girls, 2010. In 2022, her television series documentary Janet Jackson was released. In June 2009, Jackson's brother Michael died at age 50. She spoke publicly concerning his death at the 2009 BET Awards, stating, I'd just like to say to you, Michael is an icon, to us, Michael is family, and he will forever live in all of our hearts. On behalf of my family and myself, thank you for all of your love. Thank you for all of your support. We miss him so much. In an interview, she revealed she had first learned of his death while filming Why Did I Get Married Too? Amidst mourning with her family, she focused on work to deal with the grief, avoiding any news coverage of her sibling's death. She commented, It's still important to face reality, and not that I'm running, but sometimes you just need to get away for a second. During this time, she ended her seven-year relationship with Jermaine Dupri. Several months later, Jackson performed a tribute to Michael at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards, performing their duet, Scream. MTV stated, there was no one better than Janet to anchor it and send a really powerful message. The performance was lauded by critics, with Entertainment Weekly affirming the rendition, as energetic as it was heartfelt. In July, Jackson modeled for the Black Lama clothing line featuring Mink Fur, then helped design a signature line of clothing and accessories for Black Lama, to be sold at Saks Fifth Avenue and Bloomingdale's. Universal Music released the hit icon. Number ones as the debut of the Icon Compilation series. Thank you for watching. Kindly don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting videos.